What's good guys? In this video, we're gonna be sharing you, sharing with you one of my favorite little loop pressures out of the 245 odd in Madden 22. Now the 245 odd is a little bit different than the 335 odd. Um, it's similar in some ways and different in other ways. Some of the coverage concepts that you can create from 335 odd, you can create from 245 odd and some of them you actually can't. So um, anyways, I just wanted to walk you through a little cool setup I found. Um, this is just something simple and I think you're going to really enjoy how this works, especially when it comes to bunch and just some really, really good pressure um, against bunch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put Rashawn Gary at this outside linebacker and then I like to put safeties in these middle spots. Uh, so I got Amos there and then I got Savage right there. So um, it doesn't honestly matter. The cool part about 245 odd that I like is this is a really it's a little bit better from 245 odd because of the alignment of the uh defensive line so what i like to do is turn auto flip off i like to use base align for this and i actually like to do this you could do this out of a couple different defenses but what i like to do is run this out of tampa too but you could do this out of all kinds of stuff so what's really cool about 245 odd that you don't get in 335 odd is that this guy right here is a little wider so if I was to shift my linebackers to the right, uh, what you'll notice is this guy is fairly wide and this guy right here stays on the contain. So if I wanna stop if I want to stop the run, I could shoot it from this side right here and then I could also, you know, whatever, I could do whatever. But anyways, I just wanna show you this little simple blitz, real simple setup. And what you'll see is this contain is really good and it creates this little disengage. And this concept, like I said, it works out of three through five odd too but I think it's a little better out of 245 odd because this guy is so wide. And if you also think about it, um, you can actually do this on, so like if they flip and you flip, let me just show you something real quick. So if they flip their bunch, notice that this defender Smith is still wide um, on this side right here. So you can kind of, I think it's a little better from a flip perspective. And again, you'll see here, this loop will contain and come around and you create this really glitchy disengage as well. So this is a simple little defense. Um, I want to quickly point out that this defender, if you spread your line, you're gonna notice that this defender right here doesn't really move. This guy actually moves a little bit inside. If I crash my line too, real quick, notice something else. This guy doesn't change. He's a linebacker and these are the two linemen in this package. So let me reset this real quick. So if I crash my line inside and then I move this guy, you'll notice that it kind of kind of messes with the, the concept, okay? So, but if I don't spread my line, let me see if I can get this for you. Whoops. Um, if, I, if I reset my defensive line, you'll notice that I can spread them. I can base a line. I can do whatever I want to do, right? And this, this contain concept is still really effective. Now, um, the other thing that you can do with this, which is a little interesting, I think, is let's say that I blitz Amos. I'll show you, I'll give you a better example from Sam Mike 3 Press. And I think this is exclusive to 245 odd. I don't think that this works out of 335 odd as well. So, what you can do is if you come out in Sam Mike 3, maybe, yeah, right here, um, a lot of times if I just contain, you'll notice that this linebacker a lot of times will become the contain when I spread my linebackers. You see that right there? So what this does is it creates an additional layer to the blitz. And I think this is really, really good. So again, we're just gonna, um, you know, here we could kind of in theory crash our line in, but anyways, you'll just see. Look how good this loop is. It's really, really good. And you pair it a little bit, if you will. You kind of pair this loop with this. And again, I've talked about this blitz on my channel, I'm pretty sure, but just literally, spread line spread linebackers and then you might need to reset them or whatever but just just you want to contain once you've spread your linebackers and then again you know you can you, you can shoot the run i'll show you how to shoot the run real quick so if they're on base just literally run through the middle it's not too crazy but that's a way that you can kind of get some real glitchy stuff out of two four five odd just when you spread the linebackers and you got to spread the line too but spread the line spread the linebackers qb contain this dude and then this dude might kind of dumb out or whatever, but you just want this guy on the contain. If you really want to, you can zone this guy out, Gary. And a lot of times you'll see this will still come in. So here it is, you see the contain. That time it didn't come in completely clean, but you see the concept. 
that you can create from Sam Mike 3 Press. So the other thing about 245 Odd that I feel like I've noticed a little bit is you can shift this guy inside. So with Sam Mike 3 Press, notice we can shift this guy inside. We have this guy on the outside. And then what we can do is kind of, you know, use her right in here, if you will. Kind of lunge at the center a little bit. And notice this loop will just absolutely loop around the edge. So this one of my favorite defenses in the game. Um, you can kind of build on this a little bit. So you can like pinch your line, um, crash your line down, you know, QB contain. So you see here we're getting a really aggressive D. And you'll see this loop should still come in. Or you get that little pass off just like that. And Gary comes in. So there's a lot you can do from this. It's not just it's not just the left side, um, for example. Now, last thing I want to show you is one of the the things about I didn't talk I didn't hit on just yet, and that's how this works um, from Max Protect's pers like a Max Protect's perspective. So if you're struggling with a Max Protect bunch, this is pretty decent. Let me see here. It's back to that cover two, and you want to run it flipped and just um, shift your linebackers to the right. Now, if I max protect, a lot of times this blitz will come in on this right side. You'll see him loop all the way around, and he comes in completely clean. So, and, and, the, and then on the, on the back side of this, what I like to do is I like to uh, zone. Whoops messed up messed up there we go okay so i like to take smith and zone him out and then i'm gonna blitz amos and then i'm gonna contain him so you see here he'll he'll typically be on the contain just like this and so you have kind of a contain rusher from the right side you could take this dude and put him on a hard flat it's probably the best to be honest for containing the quarterback you have this guy that's gonna shed right up the a gap and then you have the loop concept on the backside. So this is probably one of my favorite defenses in the game. And again, you'll see it right here, real simple. See, we got great contain, we got the disengages, and we have the coverage behind it. So this all in all is one of my favorite defenses in this game. Again, I can't stress to you enough how simple it is. If you were to spread your linebackers, one of the things that I did want to point out real quick is unfortunately you can't, um, you can't get this guy to, to loop around but what you can do and I'll show you real quick if you come out in the standard 245 odd so if you come out like in Tampa 2 if I shift my linebackers to the right I can I can still get this concept if you will on the ah, I thought I could maybe I can't maybe I can't let's see so you see how Gary's only contained here let me see if I let me make sure I base the line move him there we go. So you see how he's on the contain right there? Now what you can do is this guy is actually going to be over here. So I can shift my line, like kind of shrink him in, if you will. And then I can crash him in. And a lot of times this dude will be a container on this side. And then now, let me see if this guy, there we go. You can blitz this guy and they're both on a contain. And what's good about that is a lot of times you'll get these double edges. Uh, as you can see, just kind of some something else, something something that you can do from this as well. So there's a lot that you can do from two, four, five odd. I like to shift my line to the right, um, shift my linebackers to the left like this, contain, and then a lot of times what I can do over here is I can blitz this guy savage, um, like crash my line down if you will. And a lot of times he'll be on a contain. I guess he's not right here for us, so you might have to like just kind of move him just a little bit like that but then you can kind of come in here and you can still shoot the run on the side and then as you can see here we'll get kind of a double double uh contain concept right there so just something that you can mess around with from 245 odd i really like this defense um like i said what i love most about it is you can run this you can actually run this with auto flip on and you can run it from almost anything in the formation so it's not just cover two so like i'll show you real quick so let's say I want to run it from cover six. Literally the same thing. Just shift your linebackers to the right. And then what I like to do, like I said, is you could either blitz this guy on the outside or you could user this guy and then drop the DN, the linebacker into a bluff blitz. And then you could blitz that other linebacker. So you see here, 
Now we've got kind of, whoops, I dropped them into a vert hook, but now you've got kind of double contains. And then this concept on the left, I can't, I can't stress enough how good it is um, from 245 odd. I think it's better from 245 odd because you get the A gap crazy, craziness and all that. So anyways, just mess around with it. Love this concept. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full 245 odd ebook, there's a link in the description below. This is just something that I think really, really, really is good. And uh, you can apply this to both 335-odd and 245-odd, but you can really, really drive it home in 245-odd because the line um, is just aligned a little bit better for the splits. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to get the full ebook on this, you can get all my ebooks by joining the membership. You literally get everything. So if you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description down below.